Okay, Vortex, so I made the mistake of not charging this camera before I left the house because I thought I didn't need to do that. Well, as it turns out, I have, it says 58 minutes, and in case you're wondering, yes, I do not have a smartphone because I hate smartphones. I hate what technology is doing to society, and I told myself a long time ago, um, we don't have to do the things that everybody else does. They, being the powers that be, they want you to believe that you have to do all these things. You have to get a phone, you have to get an Apple Watch, you have to get uh, this pair of pants in order to fit in, or you gotta wear this shade of lipstick, or it's terrible for women. It's way worse for women than it is for men because they know how stupid women are and they know how much we soak this shit up and how badly we want to fit in and be accepted by a bunch of losers. But, you know, I've never fallen into that trap. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I was just about to correct myself, bitch. I was just about to correct myself, but you go ahead and do it all you want, all you want. Um, yeah, I, I did do that when I was younger. But very quickly, I'd realized that it wasn't worth it. So I would change my mind and be like, fuck it, it's not worth it. Right. And like, I just think about all these people that I used to be friends with back in the day. And like, I just wonder what they're doing now. They're probably on three pills a day. They're probably almost always on their phone. They probably hate President Trump. Uh... <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Mm-hmm. And they probably don't have Jesus Christ in their life. I'm sure they'd be shocked to all hell that I found Jesus Christ. <laughs> but... Arlo tried to eat this blunt. I guess he likes purple shit. <laughs> I asked him if he was black. He didn't respond. I guess he was offended because he walked away. <laughs> Taking the high road, my cat. But yeah, he, I guess he likes grape, grape stuff. <laughs> Marijuana is our most natural form of medicine. Nobody knows how to use it right. Don't you find it funny that if you get caught with drugs that are in their most natural form, you can get in a lot of trouble, but if you get caught with drugs that are in pill form, it's nowhere near as bad. And you can get those very drugs from a doctor. I have a friend of mine that's on Xanax. She's prescribed Xanax. She's already like crashed her car. She totaled it when she was on drugs that she's prescribed. And she told me that if she doesn't take them, she'll just sell them. Now, I'm not one to say legalized pot. Cause People are really stupid. They don't need to be smoking weed on top of being as stupid as they already are. But, <coughs> at the very least, they need to decriminalize it because it's absolutely absurd that <coughs> a lot of the stuff is legal. There's no accountability whatsoever. <coughs> There's no accountability with doctors. Doctors can get away with murder. The VA can get away with murder. Psychiatrists get away with murder. Like, it's unbelievable. Planned Parenthood every fucking day. And people that take birth control. I mean, I don't understand why people want to do that. I mean, I was on birth control for a little while, and something told me. It's like every single time that I've been prescribed a pill, I'm just like, don't take that. <laughs> Flush that. Flush that. Throw those in the sink. <laughs> 
like I feel like that's the smarter per person inside of me that's like this is terrible for you and I know people that have been on birth control for a long time and they talk about how their body chemistry has changed their brain chemistry has changed it's just I don't understand why it's so hard to just figure yourself out and be like, okay, I don't have sex from this date to this date, and then I can be a total slut bag the rest of the month, you know? Like, why? <laughs> That's what they want to do, right? Our opinion on sex is what makes abortion a thing. Our opinion on sex, our opinion on pretty much everything, like, that we have. Nobody has any appreciation for living in a first world country. Nobody has any appreciation for modern anything. Nobody has any appreciation for the technology that they use so freely. And they don't even think about it. Like every time I flush a toilet, I'm like, wow. You know, anytime that I turn on the sink, I'm like, wow. I mean, people just have no like gratitude or deeper understanding for anything that they use on a daily basis you know they think it's just owed to them they feel entitled and I don't know if that's an American thing or that's just like a western civilization thing but I guess that's why I'm sort of like jumping for joy right now that everybody's so miserable because I'm always like on the totally opposite side from like everybody else because it's just so depressing to me that that people call themselves alive you know it's like Henry David Thoreau. He said this a long time ago, like when he was alive. Um, <laughs> he didn't say it recently. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> he said, uh, in one of his essays, God, I don't remember which one it was. I don't know if it was one about John Brown, but he was talking about, I think it was, I think it was the one about John Brown. But, um, he said that all these people that died didn't really die because they weren't really alive. Like, I don't remember his exact number, but he was like, of all the people that have ever died, it's like only five people died. <laughs> like, I just love his wit. I love his sauce. Like, I got a lot of sauce. You know, I call myself the sauce, especially because I've had to lay off the sauce because of how saucy I am with or without it. Uh, but... If I get saucy, it's, it's bad, like, you know, with booze. You like that? See, we're going to have to do this outside because I just, I'm very loud and I want to be loud. And I don't want to have to do this in my little condo. You know, my condo is very spacious. I love it. I would love to have people over and throw parties and all that kind of shit. But at the same time, every time that I've thrown parties, I just end up isolating myself. Like the last time I had a bunch of people over, I literally just sat in my garage and fantasized about chain smoking. And <laughs> maybe you're just bored with your friends. Maybe. But it was crazy about it. It was like it was all people that I liked that came over. Stop. What is that? Just stop it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so. This happens a lot. This used to happen with cigarettes all the time. Like, it was a constant thing between me and this friend of mine. We would just always talk so much that, like, both of our cigarettes would go, to, go out. Usually around the same time. But I was thinking all these problems that I have had, like all these physical problems, like whatever the fuck fibromyalgia is. If I have COPD, I don't know. But I feel like it got worse because I quit smoking. Like once I quit smoking, then I started having this major guilt trip for being a chain smoker for 10 years. And because of that, I think it was like psychogenic pain that I was feeling. Where... I just felt guilty and that guilt centered around my throat. And so I became obsessed with this idea that I have throat cancer and all kinds of shit. <laughs> I was convinced that I had like all the cancers. I was like, I have throat cancer, I have mouth cancer, I have neck cancer, lung cancer. 
That's not all the cancers, though. There are a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, that's like four or five. I didn't count. <laughs> anyway, look at this. Do y'all see this? I love it, baby. I love that shit. You don't need to smoke anymore, though. That's medical. <laughs> I always think it's my board, though. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's bad, though. Like, smoking. It's just... Because I talk so much, because I'm schizophrenic, borderline personality. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that's got a personality disorder is going to have issues with addiction. Because... Whatever, like, personality disorder they have, you know, it puts them in a different position from the rest of the world. We are, we are like, in another hemisphere altogether. And so because we're in this other hemisphere altogether, it's like we want friends, you know? Well, cigarettes, th those are great friends. <laughs> Love Noopies. I miss my Noopies so much, but Noopies are, like, $7 now. Fuck that shit. They're probably, like, 10 Yeah, you're right, you're right. Coffee and cigarettes. No marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> That's what's bad though. It's like, it was terrible when I had rolling papers because I was just smoking joint after joint after joint. And I got good at rolling, man. But the thing is, like, I'm schizophrenic. Like, supposedly there's this theory that schizophrenics are, like, high off of their own naturally produced THC. How cool is that shit? But that, ex that totally explains why. Precisely, I have always loved the fuck out of weed and why I always felt right at home whenever I would get myself there. Because I was like, well, I'm, I'm already here. It's just now I'm comfortable. <laughs> it's like extra. Anyway, I'll be back.